I didn't know what I was gonna do today when I woke up. I didn't know where I was gonna fish, if I wanted to edit videos, if I wanted to go out. I messed around, I did a little bit of editing, and then I was like, I wanna go out and do something. Left the house, went to the gas station, sat there for about 20 minutes, finally decided to come to this creek. I haven't been to this creek in over a year. It's a creek that I've fished a couple times that changes a lot, it's different flows, it's clear water, comes out of the, you know, out of the hills, out of the plateau, and it runs into the Tennessee River, but this is way upstream. It's a really cool place to explore. And um, it's kind of a different type of creek, but I'm going with a medium light rod. It's kind of going for a variety of fish, but also there also can be bigger, big bass in here. So we'll just get into it and see what we find today. Okay, here comes another deep hole. There should be something in here. Water is low though. Come on, one of these holes, there's some bass. Or at least some big sunfish. I haven't even seen those yet. This is very unusual. I can't believe I even got a sunfish big enough to bite yet. Only seen as tiny little things and no bass at all. Oh, there's a deep hole right there. All right, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be a fish hole. Oh, I see one, I see a fish. I see something, there we go. Oh, no, he didn't hit it. There we go, there we go. Blue you. I cannot believe how, and I just shot hooked in. I saw something over there in that little hole. Looked a little bit bigger. Let's see if we can get it. And there's tons of chubs and bait fish all through this area, which would be normal. But I haven't seen anything bigger than like five inches. At, no, and no bass. There should be some fat bass sitting in here, you'd think. Just, you know, loading up, just eating everything that comes in. Okay. Gotta get through this water. Get across this beaver dam and it's, oh, oh, it's cold. This water is freezing. But it's not that deep right over there. Ugh. This is uh this has been hard to navigate. I've barely gone anywhere. <laughs> because there's so many trees and log jams and I'm about to fall in. Ooh, how did I not fall? Ooh. And you can't walk around it because the weeds are seven feet high on the banks and really thick. Okay. Goodness. A lot more work than I thought it was going to be. Better be some fish down here. Dude, this is a big deep hole right here and there's no bass coming out of it. Just a bunch of little sunfish. What is going on here? Alright, can I get over there? Oh man, that was a little tough getting through all that.
Wow, this is a, a barrier, all right. And the beavers have helped make it a little higher here. So the water would have to get really high for a fish to come from downstream to get up in here, which this is a, this up here may dry up pretty, pretty low in the summer. But this hole down here looks awesome. See, I don't know, I remember seeing this before. I don't know what this is. It's like concrete, like it used to be a, I bet this was an old road at one time. Holy cow, this is an old road. There's the road bed over there. It's like rock and, and uh, concrete. Wow. All right, I bet you I'll catch something out of this hole. Dude, I still haven't got a bass to hit. I caught a big largemouth out of here a couple years ago. Like a three pound largemouth. And upstream, I'd, I'd caught tons of uh, little largemouth and spots, even a small mouth. I've caught all those upstream from here. And I ain't yet to even see a bass yet. Made it up, man. That will, that's creepy every time. I hate going through there. And you can look right through it, but man, that section in the middle is dark in there. Ugh. Okay. Operation find a bass. Hey, no way, we got a fish. Oh my goodness, what do we got here? Hey, we got a small mouth. Goodness, where are all the bass at? It's our first small mouth. This place should be loaded with them. Well, there's one. This water's super clear. This stream is really confusing every time I've been to it. It looks so good. Clear, cold water, all kinds of debris and logs, logs and stuff. And, and you come up through here and there's just nothing in it. Like I cast it in there and there was a couple little bitty fish bit. There's all kinds of little deep holes. There's like little holes that are two, three feet deep. I'm casting in them, there's nothing. But I know way upstream there's some bass that people catch i think i don't know but i'm gonna go downstream where the two streams connect and we're gonna go downstream there used to be some deep holes somewhere through there there's gotta be some good fish i've seen tons of one pound and two pound bass through this stream all all the water i've already covered i haven't seen a single one i've caught that one little small mouth and that's about it What? Did we actually finally hook something? Huh. Another tiny smallmouth. Dude, I've covered so much water and I haven't seen anything else. I've always seen spotted bass in here. I don't know where they're at. There's nothing else in here.
Oh, oh, there's two decent, not decent, but two almost bigger fish right there. <gasps> hey, I see bass. I see bass. There's three little bass right there. I have been going forever. That's the first bass I've seen without, um, besides a couple, two little ones I caught. Here they come. Eat it. Finally see some bass. There's like three bass, like eight inches long. I should have turned back long ago, but I can't. I can't stop going down this creek because it's driving me crazy to find out where the fish are. There's so much good water. There's so much area. I've caught lots of fish in here before. Now, I still haven't seen one over 10 inches. I ain't seen a bass over 10 inches yet. I thought I heard something splash. There we go. Finally, and he came off. I didn't think he had all of it. Oh, I took my lure. Finally, that was like a 11 inch bass. 11, maybe 12 inch, he was pretty strong. Oh my. Yeah. Oh. That's another good hit. Well, what was it? All right, this little hull here finally had two like strong hits. Oh, got it, got it. There it is. Wow, it's actually a nice fish. No wonder I'm. Missed it, or he killed some drag. Cow, that tree. Holy cow. Are you kidding me? Look at that smallie. Or is that a spotted bass? He may be mixed. It's a solid fish. That guy, that is a uh, thick. 12, maybe 13 inch bass, but a solid body on it. I've come all this way and then boom, that. Like that could be anywhere through there. But this hole, they finally right here. I think there's a trail or something over there. I don't know. I ain't stopping now though. We've, we've come way too far for just one fish. Saw that one come eat it. Okay. Oh man, how'd I miss him? Oh, there's another one. Dude. Dude, they're in here. Dude, this stretch right here, there's fish all of a sudden and solid creek fish too. Now that's a spot. Wow. Holy cow, these things are chunks. Holy moly. These are little, but they are chunks. That's another one, like just a solid fish. Finally, smallmouth or maybe a mix right there. I lost one, then I caught one. I think there's gonna be a few through here. Can I walk 
across this little deep spot. Oh yeah, it's deep. But it's clear and cold. <laughs> oh, fish on, fish on. Another good one. I just left my lure sitting over there when I was walking. He came up and hit it. What a beautiful fish. Well, he's barely hooked. Come on. That's what I've been looking for. That's about a 12 inch, just a solid fish, but I've been looking and looking for these and all of a sudden I got three of them in the same spot. But not all of a sudden, after I don't even know how many miles I've gone, probably two to three miles down this creek. I'm gonna have to find a different way back because I don't want to walk the back the way I came. There must be a, uh, I've never been through this section of the creek. Obviously a lot of the section of the creek I've never been through, but it's like slowing down. There's a, something down here. It's like stopping the water back, it looks like. This section through here is wide and it's just like solid, it's like two foot constant all the way across. Like there could be fish anywhere in here. There he is. Eat it. Eat it. Oh my goodness. I just saw it like, oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? He was just nibbling on it through a, like a little glimpse of the leaves. I saw him come up and bite it. There's some fish in here. Oh yeah, like that one. Oh wow, it came off. That was a that was a good fish. He was on there. I didn't know he was on it. They're in here. Oh, oh something's got it. Something's got it. There we go. That one has it all the way, I think. And that's a nice fish. There was two of them. Sure is help, helpful when you can see it. That's a small mouth. Dude, there's some good fish in here. Oh, they're hanging out in this little channel right here. There's three of them, at least three fish down there. That's a pretty fish right there. Oh yes, dude, that is a good fish. I really didn't know that they were in here like this. I didn't even know this section of the I didn't even know this section of the creek was like this. I didn't know you could have a there was a spot on this creek that you could wade like this. And I know there's a lot of fish in here now. Oh what a pretty smallmouth. That's cool. That's that 12, 13 inch range, but just chunky, just good creek fish. And there was a few more following it down there. This fish. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a good one. I thought there might be something somewhere in the back of these logs. Man, it's a good fish. Holy cow, this guy's fighting. I, I got a braid on here, but I got six pound leader line, so I don't have it too tight. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> these are solid little fish. Oh man. I had to put a lot of fish. Oh, he's barely hooked. A lot of fishing in to get them. These guys are just chunks. Just thick little guys. Oh, there he is. Someone followed it. Yeah. There's another one. Oh, there's another, there's one following it, but I think it's the one I just caught. Oh, that came off. 
there's a couple of them hiding up in that logs there's a bunch of fish at the front of the pool where i caught most of them but this was just a long stretch where i thought they had to be spread out a little bit there was a few there so let's keep working back might pick up a couple more Oh yeah, there's a good one. I threw it across this log. Oh, he's not that big, but he hammered it. He's pretty good though, pretty good. This back of this pool has more hungry fish and just more fish than I thought. Usually the front they're gonna eat, but dude, there's a lot of good fish in here. I just tossed it over there. Now I'm just trying to hit all these little spots. Now it's fishing. I was so, for the first two and a half, three hours, it was just like, where's a fish at? It's going. Does the trail keep on going down that way? Yeah, there's another spot you can fish down here. Oh, is there another spot to get in? Yeah. That's the first time I've been here. Yeah, if you go just keep walking that trail, going up that bank, and you follow it, I'm down. And there's another spot you can pull that on the road right here. Okay, thanks, Sam. just a baby gun. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> you're good. Well, this video is finally coming to an end, and I, I don't know what to t say, except I, I enjoy the exploration. Sometimes that gets the better of me more than fishing. But it worked out today. I went way past where I'd planned to go. Like, I, I'd planned to go about a mile, and I probably went, like, I'm not going to exaggerate. I probably went two, uh, two and a half miles. I'm gonna walk back on the road, which is, it says 1.4 miles back and it's straight and over and the creek was all curvy and down, but it was, I thought for sure I'd catch fish in the first mile, I didn't get anything. And then I found this awesome stretch through here, caught all my fish within like a 500 yard stretch, the big deep stretch. I gotta find a way to get a kayak in it now. So this exploration really is gonna to lead to some more exploration and that's how you find fishing holes and that's how you come across things. You just get out there when you're, you know, sometimes you got a place that you think is going to work out. It doesn't work out. Just keep on looking for something else. And I found this. All right. Got to get on the road and uh, start walking back.